Hello, another video in the Algebra video series. This one is video 6 and we're going to check out expanding algebra expressions. To expand an expression we're really getting rid of the brackets but um, we do that by multiplying the front term by each and every term inside the brackets. That's our main rule. Multiply the front term by each term inside the brackets. So let's have a look at an example here. We're asked to expand 5 outside of a plus 2. Now invisibly between the 5 and the bracket there, we can imagine a multiplier. So the 5 is multiplying by that bracket and needs to multiply by the first term and we write down an answer and then by the second term and we write down another answer. We'll see how that pans out. So step 1, we want to multiply 5 by a and we then want to multiply 5 by 2 to make sure none of, the, um, none of the terms inside the bracket feels lonely. So we'll just simplify that on the next line there. 5 times a is 5a, 5 times 2 is 10, and we're done. So as long as that front term gets multiplied by each term inside the brackets and we're writing down our answers one at a time, can't really go wrong. Let's have a look at another example here. This time we've got a letter out the front front. Uh, so that m needs to multiply by that first term and we write down our answer. Then that m multiplies by that second term. Let's have a look. Now m times m, when the, the same letters are multiplying with each other, that creates uh, an m squared. Then we have a look at m times, now careful here, it's an m times a minus 3. So we get minus 3m. And we're done. That's about it. Okay, so for this one, this is a bit chunkier. We have a 5bc out the front that is multiplying by a bracket with your 4b and your 6a in it. Let's have a look at it carefully. Now, 5bc times 4b. The numbers multiply normally, so 5 times 4 will be 20. And you'll notice uh, that we have a b times a b, so that's why we've made that b squared there. Whenever we're multiplying the same letter, it creates a square or a cube or whatever. And we have a C that's multiplying as well, and that just gets listed there. So that's that first multiplication. We have to do that second one as well every time. So that front term, 5BC, gets multiplied by the 6A. 5 times 6 is 30. And then we just have a B and a C and an A. Now, they aren't doubling up at all, so that just gets listed beside it. 5BC times the brackets ends up being 20B squared C plus 30ABC. You just have to be a little more careful because there's more terms happening, but I'm sure you can handle that. Okay, so that's how we expand. Um, hope you enjoyed that and hope that helps your studies. See you next time.